G'day guys, welcome back. I'm gonna do another big clock today. Right, uh, because I wanna try just monochromatic, I just wanna do black and white. So we'll see how that goes. I've got some black mixed up, uh, just with black pigment paste. I'm using the Platinum 360 Plus. Uh, because it sets up nice and quick. So I just made up 50 grams of A, 22 grams of B. That's all I need. And I'm going to put in a little piping bag. It's so much easier to get into small areas like that if you've got a piping bag. But you just have to make sure that you do a really small hole because the resin's really thin still. You know, it, it's not like I've waited for it to warm up and then pipe blooms. Um, I'm piping it straight away. So... It's really thin, so be careful not to make your hole too big. Otherwise you'll be in trouble. It'll just make a mess everywhere. So start with just a little tiny hole and see how you go. You can always make it a bit bigger. Go a tiny bit bigger. All right, let's wind that up. I always cut the end off my piping bag because I don't need it to be so long. All right, here we go. Now, if you've already seen me do this or you don't want to watch me do this, feel free to fast forward. If you do happen to go over the lines, <laughs> that's like colouring in, stay in the lines. If you do happen to go outside the lines, you can just get a wet wipe and clean it off afterwards. So I'm just going to put a little bit, well, almost full into all of them. See, oh, I was watching that one and dripped over here. So if you make a little mistake, if it spills over, don't worry, it'll just wipe up with the baby wipe. Um, what was I saying? Oh, I'll come back and, and fill them up. I'll just sort of filling them up three quarters of the way, letting the resin self level, and then I'll come back and uh, fill them up. As required. Make sure you've got a little bit of paper towel there to catch your drips. Saves on cleaning up later. So um, like I said this is the Platinum 360 Plus and I'm using it for the numbers because it sets up really quick. So in a couple of hours, two to three hours, I'm going to come back in with the Platinum Art Coat and I'm going to do my petals. It's a much thicker resin. It's got a much longer working time. Um, and I've been getting really good results with it for the 3D blooms. So that's what I'm going to do. And there's no reason why you can't do two different types of resin in the same project, depending on what you're wanting from your resin. So that's the plan. I am thinking about putting a little bit of black alcohol ink in the center and then a lot, like a little bit of gray so it starts darker and then gets lighter towards the edges. So I'll probably do that. Just need to wind up my little bag again. So nearly done. All right, so I'm going to I'll leave the video at that, um, otherwise it'll be too long. Um, I'm going to come back and just fill in any areas that need a little bit more. Just giving them a wipe with my little baby wipe there, like I said. Clean up your drips if you've got any. I always like to push towards the resin, like not away, because you can drag what's already in there onto the and it's a canvas onto the mold. So I like to go towards the resin. I find that the easiest, is that it? I think I've got everything. Oh, there's one there. So yeah, um, I'm just gonna put you on pause now. I'll turn you off, turn you off. And uh, I'll just put in a little bit more, fill up these numbers. And then let them set up for a bit, just till they're tacky, so I can pour the next layer. And uh, I will be back then. Right, okay, guys, I'm back. It's been a few hours, and the numbers are touch dry. 
I've got a whole heap of resin in here. <laughs> and it's just got to 42 degrees while I was messing around with my camera. So I'm just going to quickly pour this in. And I'm going to keep... I'm not going to touch the resin because I haven't got my gloves on yet. <laughs> I just thought I'd better get that in real quick. I'm just going to go and put into my little cups here uh, 30 grams or one, e one ounce into each cup. I think I'm going to need about that. It's just over, which is fine, rather over than under. So yeah, I was just waiting for the resin to get to um, 40 degrees and let it sit for about 20 minutes. It's been sitting. So I stirred it for my usual four minutes. And uh, it was still a little bit streaky, so I just stirred it for another minute after that. Just slowly, scraping the sides, scraping the stick. Um, yeah, as I said, I'll, I'm using the Platinum Art Coat. I'll show you the bottle in a minute as soon as I've done this. Actually, I probably shouldn't scrape it all, should I? Right, uh, this, is, <clears throat> this is what they look like, Art Coat. Equal amounts, but... A weighed A and a weighed B, and A was a bit heavier, as it always is. So I went 400 grams of A and 360 grams of B. So I've got 760 grams of resin, and we are about, about half full. <laughs> it's a big mould, you guys. It's a big mould. So about half full. So let's just pop some bubbles and uh, yeah, like I said earlier, I want to do monochromatic, so just black and white. I'll just let the bubbles rise and then I can torch them again. I am going to just clean up my little stick though and also my little temperature probe. Better get him clean real quick. I'm just going to spray some alcohol on here and then I can clean that little probe off. It's hate for them to get stuck together, hey? That would be awful. All right, so that's me done there with the tidying up. All right, so 20 minutes, my resin had been sitting in the big container. The Platinum Art Coat has a 70 minute, seven zero minute work time. I'm just gonna climb up behind you and see if we're still going. Yep, 70 minute work time. So I'm going to put my alcohol inks in now. I'm going to mix up my white. And then by the time it gets back up to 40 degrees, another 10 minutes. So about 30 minutes in total, maybe a little bit over. Um, I'll be ready to go with the white. So, right, this is so exciting. It's, it's nerve wracking when you're doing a big piece like this and it's so much resin. It's, it's really nerve wracking. Because you don't want to ruin it, you know, and waste so much resin. So, yeah, it's always nerve-wracking. Right, so, because, because I'm going to do the blooms, where they end or meet, it's kind of a bit messy. So, we're always going to swirl a little bit. So, I've got some black, and it's going to kind of look a bit grey anyway. You know, when I mix the white in, it's going to kind of make, go a bit grey. And then here, I've got this. It's by Sig Wong, S-I-G-W-O-N-G. -G. It's metallic alcohol ink, and it's grey. So I want it to go dark, lighter, and then lightest. So have the white around the outside. So let's see what this does. Never used this before, so I'm not quite sure what it's going to do or how much it's going to spread. I'll do another, another little row. I'm expecting the resin to, you know, pull in from the sides anyway. And I don't think it's going to be real dark. So, let's see how that goes. I always get this little blank area around that nib. Normally resin pulls in from the outside in, but when it's got that little nib, it seems to push away from it. 
So that's that there. Right, while that's doing its thing, uh, I'm going to get my white organised. So white petals, and then when I do my background, I'm going to do a black background, but it's going to be quite transparent. Now, I want my white to be quite transparent. So I'm going to wipe it, wipe it, wipe it, wipe it, and then that's going in there. I can always add more, but I'd rather not put too much on or in just yet. I'd like it to be really quite quite wispy and ethereal looking. Now I've got two cups to mix up. The reason I've put it in two cups is because one is too deep. And, you know, deep resin sets up much faster than if it's in a shallower cup. Uh, if anybody's ever had a flash cure happening, you'll know what I'm talking about. Now I'm just going to clean this off. I'm not going to use that white. I'm just going to clean that off. So I don't want to put too much white back into it because you can't take it out. You can add it, but you can't take it out. So I'm going to stir. And then I'm going to have a look what it looks like because I don't want to make it too heavy. If you put too much white paste in your resin, you've got more chance of it falling through and then having the blobbies at the back, which I don't want. So I'm not going to scrape the sides of that stick onto my cup. I'm just going to wipe that off. And then let's have a look and see what it looks like. So it's quite, quite dark still. <laughs> I was trying not to put too much in, but no, that's, that'll be fine. All right, that'll be fine. Just as well I didn't put any more in or scrape the sides because that will be fine. Okay, now the other thing I want to do is I've got, because I'm going to pipe with my little stick, I'm going to put, it's a paper towel, fold it in half and then half again. I'm going to put that around there like that. And then when I wipe my stick like that, the paper towel will catch the drips and it won't fall into that. So actually, to stop it from opening up like that, let's put a bit of tape on it. Okay, let's get organised here, you guys. Let's get organised. Put a piece of tape there to hold that and we'll do the same with the other one a piece of masking tape got a piece of tape in my mouth <laughs> oh, holding it in place in my mouth there we go couldn't talk to you right so that will hopefully stop the drips and I'm going to make sure that I do it that way and not over the masking tape right so that's me done for now. See how, see that black, the area's gone clear again? But when I swirl, I will incorporate some more colour into that. All right, now, um, now, 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 how now, brown cow? We're coming up to, still got a couple of minutes left for my 30 minutes. So let's, oh, I'll put this in my other hand so that we can, so that you can see what I'm seeing. Okay, now we want this to come back up to 40 degrees. I usually wait 10 minutes, but if it's coming up quicker, whoa, yep, oh gosh, okay, let's do this. You guys, it's come up faster, probably because I've made up a lot more. Okay, so it is 4.57, where's my pen, where's my pen? 50, no, 453. It's only two minutes earlier. All right, here we go. Oh my gosh, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Okay, let's do this. I'm going to use the stick and I'm just going to wipe the back of that. I'm going to do a nice little bloom. I'm nervous. All right, there we go. First layer. concentrating here. Let me see if I can not drag it through the resin too much. Oh, I don't know. It does what it wants to do. It just does. I find if I make the petals a little bit bigger, it tends to work a bit better rather than making really small petals. 
My stick is going into the resin a little bit and I'm trying not to make it too deep but it is going into the resin. I'm making it nice and wide. Oops, trying to make my petals nice and wide so that they will bloom nicely. I don't know why I'm rushing. I can take my time here. This resin's got a nice long work time. I can take my time. Oops. Oh, look, I said to my, I said to you guys, make sure that you do this where there's no masking tape. And then of course I didn't check, did I, to see where the masking tape was. So now my resin's quite grey in here because of the black ink, but that's okay. It's going on to grey anyway, so it doesn't matter. And then when I use my new cup, my other cup, which is white, I'll have beautiful white petals on the outside. So that's the plan. The plan, Stan. And I like using the stick because I get a really sort of more 3D effect because it's kind of thicker at that end and then wisps out to the other end. So I don't know, I just get a really pretty effect doing it with the, the stick or a silicone stick, either one. I don't think it really matters. They both seem to work. I'm just trying to make my petals about the same size all the way around. trying to go a bit slower than I normally do just so that I don't disrupt my row below because sometimes the whoops sometimes the row below can get disrupted when you're doing the above row how come this is touching the number here and it's not touching the number here <laughs> I'm all I'll just tell you I'm always off center always I'm gonna have to go with another row of gray down the other end now It is catching most of the drips. There's a little bit running down, but it's not too bad. I'm just going to do one more little row around the grey here, and then I'll change to my other cup of clean white resin. Around we go. just until they're touching the numbers like this. So this mold, as you can see, the numbers are built in. And when you unmold, the numbers are, they protrude from the actual piece. So they, the numbers stand out, which is really pretty. Little 3D effect there. Okay, so that's a nice cup of gray resin there. So let's now change to the white resin. All right, here we go. Same thing, make sure that I'm gonna drip down the paper towel and not masking tape. There's a bit of a blob there. I'm just gonna, actually I should probably, while I've got this stick out, just do that. If you can see any blobs, it's a good idea to just go through them. We'll come back to that. Shall come back to that bit. All right, here we go with the nice clean white resin now. I think what I'll do is I'll try and get the resin to sort of flow down from the top of the stick. So I'll wipe the bottom and then let the resin flow from the top of the stick. That should give me a nice wide petal with any luck. Hopefully. I hope this works. It's such a lot of resin to waste if it doesn't work. I still need to do a top coat as well. Come back to that little blob there. They're never as neat, the ones that are closest to me. 
I don't know, they don't seem to be as, as neat as the ones where I can do it sort of away from myself rather than towards myself. Yeah, I think it's going to be, hopefully it'll be good because this resin's got such a long work time. I, this is going to take me a little while, you know, to do all these blooms or petals. So I'm hoping that using this resin will be great for this because it's going to take a while. And, you know, I do love the 360 Plus, which I've been using mainly for the last year. But because it's got such a short work time, I find that when I'm doing big pieces like this, it starts setting up before the petals had a, have a chance to bloom and move enough. So that's why I'm looking for a thicker resin. And I'm hoping this will be it. I'm hoping this will be my new favourite for blooms. I still use the 360 Plus for other things, you know, coasters and my octopus and cross and all that kind of thing but for the blooms I need something that's nice and thick and it has a long work time because you want your, your petals here you want them to spread when as the resin pulls from the outside in you want the white to spread and just make sure that you're pouring it deep enough pouring your resin deep enough so that um, the petals can actually move because if it's too thin they're not going to really be able to move I probably need to do one more row of white just as well I made up two cups say I'm just going to do one more row up, up here And be really careful that you don't dip your the bottom of your cup into your resin that would be awful try not to touch the mold the side of the mold because the petal that is touching the silicone mold isn't going to move as well and you want the whole piece to be uniform so try not to touch the edge of that mold there oops there's a drip oh gosh 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 we'll have to fix that in a minute this is where I find it more difficult around here towards me I don't know why if there's going to be an ugly piece it's always that bit there just towards me I think it's because I'm holding the stick at a different angle. Stand this way. Taking a while, hey guys. Still with me? Haven't lost anyone to go and make a coffee? I'll come back when she's done. No, I, I'm enjoying it. Art is my, my relaxation. So I take my time. I'm not really the sort of person that's going to, you know, put on music and fast forward. If I'm doing something that's going to take a long time, yeah, I'll do it just for a few, just for like a minute. But generally, it's not something that I do for my videos. Because when I want to learn something from a YouTube video, I want to learn the whole thing. Oh, I'm done! I'm done! I'm done! I'm Oh, hope I've made them thick enough. All right, so now I'm going to just come in and make sure that all these little points are thinned out a little bit. Not that easy to get all of them, but if you can see one that's, you know, quite blobby. See, I fiddle. I, this bit that's closest to me, I fiddle with it and then it comes worse. I 
got a bit touching the mold there. I just have to get that away. Oh, it's blooming, it's blooming. Thank goodness. Thank the resin gods. All right, I should probably stop fiddling with it. She says as she keeps fiddling. Um, oh, look at the center. All right, I need to put some more black in the center. And then put a little bit of white around that. Probably shouldn't be using my white, just in case I need that for something else. Um, let's do the gray. can't actually see what's going on in there. <laughs> I can't. Oh, all right, I'm going to put some resin on that. And we're going to just give it a bit of a swirl into the center. And hopefully, hopefully the center will be pretty. I have no idea what it's looking like. Oh no, oh no, how did that happen? Oh dear, oh my gosh, how am I going to fix that now? Oh gosh. How am I going to fix that? Just as well it's on the... on the back. Actually, probably won't be able to tell actually. Because of the black background and this is on the back. So the other side, you won't see that, and the background's gonna be black, so it'll, it'll be fine. Oh, phew, had me worried there for a sec. Okay, now, now just stop fiddling, woman, stop fiddling, woman, stop fiddling, woman. Just these little bits that are touching the side of the mold there, I think that's it. Yeah, this, I always struggle on this side here, where it's closest to me. All right, little torch. In some bubbles and and that's pretty much it I think I think oh, that bit's not very attractive just there okay all right, I'm gonna... somebody stop me. Now, like I said, it's got a 70 minute work time, so it's gonna move and change for a while. I'm just gonna clean off my sticks here. And you can see why I did the two cups. That kind of makes sense now, doesn't it? All right, and I think that where I've made a little line there, I think it will be okay. Um, I don't think you'll see it once I put that black background on it. So I'm going to leave it like that and I'm going to come back in about half an hour, an hour, see what it's done and um, go, for there, go from there. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was nerve wracking. I really hope this works, you guys. I really hope this works. All right, I'll see you soon. We'll be back in about an hour to have a look at it. Alrighty, so it's been about an hour. Um, what can I say? I'm really happy about the outside. Bloomed beautifully. I'm not happy about this metallic alcohol ink. When I heated it with the heat gun, the, I don't know, the alcohol separated like this. I'm really upset that it's done that um, and I had to keep adding black to the center uh, because the black kept pulling away from the middle. Um, I did get my heat gun out, that one, and um, I gave it some heat because the middle didn't seem to be blooming very much. It still doesn't look as if it's done very much. 
I'm just wondering, because I started at 27 minutes instead of about 32 minutes like I normally do, is maybe it was still a bit, the resin was a bit thin still, so it's kind of dropped rather than spread. <clears throat> but um, never mind, live and learn. I will, I'll do the top coat because I've come this far, but I'd like to go again and not use the alcohol ink well that particular one I've had a lot of trouble with the um the glitter or metallic alcohol ink so I think I'm just going to give them a bit of a miss for the future well when it comes to blooms anyway because they just haven't agreed with what I'm wanting but the outside is looking amazing so I'll be back tomorrow and we'll do the top coat but um yeah I will be going again and I think I'll just do black and white um, and I'll have to go up the shed and find my black crushed glass to put in the center and then I'll just do white blooms, no inks. How's that sound? Right. Stay tuned. We'll be back. All right, so it's the next day and I have just mixed up um, a cup of resin. It's the 360 plus because I know it's going to set up just in a few hours. And I just used some black pigment paste. I've kept it a little bit transparent, not, not opaque. So we'll see how we go. Give it a bit of a blow to get the dust off. So hopefully a cup will be enough. Looks quite dark, doesn't it? <laughs> I put some in and then thought, I put some paste in and then I thought, oh, it looks a bit dark, a bit too pale. So I'll put a tiny bit more in it. We shall see. I don't mind if it's a little bit darker, I guess. Bits of stuff flying everywhere. All right, so let's just spread this out. Not, not terribly exciting, I know, but I just thought I'll show you. I like to see the whole thing. Like some people, they do backgrounds or top fills or whatever you want to call them, and then they, they don't show it. And I feel as if I've been cheated that I've sat and watched all the mixing and the everything else and then I missed you know they don't do the top coat and I thought oh I miss out I'm gonna watch the whole thing that's just me I like to just sit down with a coffee and get involved in the video that I'm watching watch the whole thing probably should be using a palette knife actually much easier than trying to use a Popsicle stick. Uh, knife. Here we go. It's just one of my little ones that I use for my acrylic pouring, but it's much easier to spread because it's got a flat base. Get right into those little edges. Now you can see as I'm spreading it out there over the that white section that um, it is still quite transparent. I just thought that you know the petals will be quite transparent and you'll be able to see through them and I just thought that would be a nice matching effect to have the background a bit transparent because the black numbers themselves are going to be quite opaque. I'm not going to be able to see through those so I just thought it would be nice to have a different look with the black. Just pushing that into the edges there last little bit so yeah i'll be able to unmold this later on today got builders coming tomorrow morning so i won't be able to do anything tomorrow i am in my new studio but they, they haven't totally finished so i can't move everything in yet but um i, st I can pour in here um when they're not here so I don't want to bring everything in yet. I'm just a bit worried about dust and things still. So, and I don't want to get in their way too much. All right, so that's that's it. It will settle. I didn't want to fill it up too, too much, but it will settle and self-level. Oh gosh, look at that. I must have stuff on my glove. See, that's the problem with using a glove that I used yesterday. It gets little bits of dried resin on it. Um, 
and then that, it flakes off the next day. So, you know, I try and reuse as much as possible, but then I pay for it later with bits flying off. There's little bits there too. Oh, gosh. Little bits of resin stuck to my gloves from yesterday. I did try to reuse them. I'll throw them out now, though. So if they're going to be doing that, I don't want to be using them. I'm going to drop bits in. Right, so that's it. Um, I will come back to you a bit later on today when it's ready to unmold. And hopefully, hopefully, it will be pretty. Oh, that's what I'm going to go and do now. I'm going to go up to the shed and uh, look through the boxes and see if I can find my black crushed glass. Right, oh, guys, it's been a few hours. And it's set. It's probably not, um, you know, 100% cured or anything. If I had to press my nail on it, it might leave a little dent, but I'm too excited. All right, let's get this out. It's a big one. Should just pop out nice and easily. A little bit of overflow there. Just got to pull because the numbers, as I said, they stand out. You just have to pull them down. See, look, can you see how it's a bit transparent there? That's exactly what I was going for. All right. There's the mold. <laughs> oh, does it matter if I put it on black background? I guess it doesn't really matter. I'm not going to put this. Let me just put this down. There we go, next to it. Alrighty, now, where's the 12 and where's the, the 6? Right, I'm going to turn it this way, that way when I flip it towards you. Let me find the 12, yep, yeah, okay. So when I flip it towards you, you will see it first, okay? So let me know if it's any good. I hope it's alright. I'm really not expecting great things from the centre because I don't think it really worked all that well. But anyway, without further ado... Are you ready? Actually, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Yeah, I want to put down a different colour. Hang on, there we go. I don't think you're going to see it all that well on the black. It's just sheets that I buy from um, eBay. They're pretty, aren't they? Different coloured sheets. All right, here we go. Oh my gosh. All right, let's do it. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's, it's really pretty on the outside. As I thought, this centre bit, it's not amazing. Wow, look at that. Be really nice with some silver hands, hey. I must do one actually with silver numbers next time and silver hands. What do you think, you guys? I love the outside. And even the middle I like. It's just... This bit here where I had those um, metallic alcohol inks, it just did not agree with the resin. I don't know why. Um, I do have, I've had issues before with the um, metallic alcohol inks. So I'm not going to use them again, but there it is. What do you think? Let me know what you think of it, guys. And we do have that transparency, which I love. So there you go. Very... Very subtle, monochromatic, more masculine, I guess, rather than, you know, the pinks and the yellows and things like that that I've been doing. So, what if I've got some hands? Let me go and find some hands. I think it would look nice with, um, I was going to do black hands, but I think it would be too much. I think some silver hands might be better. I'm a bit surprised because I thought that the um, I thought the white would be more white, like in the flowers. But then I, you can see a lot of the black through the centre, so I think the white handles look nicer on it. Uh, let's go down and have a little close up, okay? Right here we go. Probably because it's so dark, because this is so dark, because these didn't bloom, so you can see a lot of the black. If they'd bloomed and it was like this all the way through, then I could get away with black hand, uh, black hands, but yeah, never mind. 
I'll do it again because I really, really love the outside. It's bloomed beautifully. Love it. I always have trouble with the centers. <laughs> I'm just jinxed. <laughs> oh dear, never mind. Gives me another chance to go again. All right, well, hopefully you've enjoyed the video and uh, hopefully you've learned something about maybe not using the metallic alcohol inks in blooms. If you've had luck with them, yay, let me know. <laughs> but I sure haven't, so I won't be using them again. Definitely going to do this again. I went up to the shed. I could not find my um, black crushed glass. I'm going to have to wait until everything's unpacked. So uh, maybe I'll just do plain black and um, I want to do white again. I won't do any grey, so that will be coming up soon. So stay tuned. All right. Thanks again for watching, guys. Take care. See you for the next video. Bye for now.